my name is uh, John Kelly. I'm head of uh, strength conditioning for the uh, Toronto Wolfpack. Uh, currently in lockdown, so uh, the remote head of SNC for the Toronto Wolfpack. Uh, how are we doing, guys? This is Gaz O'Brien. I am a fullback at the Toronto Wolfpack Rugby Club. Uh, do you need it? No. Does it make life a bit easier? Yes. So there's a there's a there's a scale and there's a spectrum to work from when. Uh, and programming to uh, to train at home. Uh, I mean, uh, in the current climate, you are still allowed to leave the house and exercise once a day. Um, so a run and a walk, quite easy to do. The public have got uh, can create a gym away from the gym if they've got kids at home, but it is not essential. That's that's the message I've been given recently. It's not essential. You can train at home without any kit. But I've not got any equipment. It's been, a lot of my exercise have been body weight uh, to maintain my strength. Um, but you can improvise. We've just uh, uh, retitled, so we've had some specials. So I've been chucking them on my back there, pretty, they're pretty epic, and acting as like a weight uh, for weight, weight press ups and stuff like that. So, um, as I say, it's not essential. You could probably improvise, use various pieces of furniture, but um, as I've been doing, but, uh, yeah, you're just, you're just trying to improvise and do what you can. These days, there's a lot of online um, body body weight circuits or um, for body weight exercises. Just if you can find for squats, maybe just full range squats on like a little bit of an elevation. So your heels up on um, up on a curb. I, I grabbed the watt bike, um, almost 100 kgs of plates, a barbell, a bench, um, some medicine balls, 15 kgs, um, some pads where I can drop the weight if I'm cleaning and snatching and that kind of stuff, power movements onto the floor. Um, what else did I did I grab? Oh, I grabbed some 22 kg dumbbells, some 5 kg dumbbells. Um, so I grabbed whatever I could fit in the back of, I borrowed someone's truck and um, I pretty much just jam-packed the boot uh, full of whatever I could and a, and a watt bike, which is, a watt bike's massive, so it's a cardio equipment. Our conditioner, John Kelly, has been uh, in touch every day with a specific program we can do at home. Um, it's been a lot of body weight stuff because a lot of us haven't got you know any equipment at home. So it's it's press ups, uh, single leg uh, squats, your legs, uh, tricep dips, uh, and then what my exercise is like plank uh, crunches. Um, and then for the the cardio aspects, we you know we're allowed to as long as we're keeping social distance, distancing in mind, we can get to a field and you know, get running done or some road running. Brian Mack, our coach, came up with a, a good statement and it was a case of uh, case of creating a routine each day. So there's a phrase, uh, never in a month of Sundays, but this actually does feel like a month of Sundays now. Um, so it's, it's a case of, uh, it's a case of creating a routine each day. So. On a Sunday, you may normally lie in. You, you don't really want to be having lie-ins in this kind of scenario. So set yourself a time to wake up and then set yourself goals throughout the day. Um, if you like to exercise in the morning, make sure you've got a slot each day for your exercise and then you go into the other jobs you've got. If you like exercise in the evening, if you're, if you're one of the guys who likes to clog the gym up between the hours of 5 and 7 p.m., then train at home between the hours of 5 and 7 p.m. Create a normal routine as best you can in the four walls of your house. Yeah, so maybe every every two days or every three days, maybe just um, try and go for a little, little bit of a run. If you can find a park and just do some some tempo running, that, that's ideal. But um, if you can't, you can just go for a leisurely, like two days ago, we just went for an hour walk. Um, you know, do a push-up burpee and then run to the end of your yard and do it again. Um, or just doing laps of your backyard, even if it's only five meters, ten meters, it's still something. Eh? So something's always better than nothing. It is. It is hard. I don't get me. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna lie to you because you know you, you get into a routine of jumping in your car, uh, going to training, and you know being with 20, 25 other blokes that can um, you know get you through the day. If you, you can have a bad day. You know teammates get you through it, and uh, it's good to. Uh, bounce off each other when you're at training, so you, you get each other through it. But uh, being at home, it's a bit different. Obviously, you you by yourself, I've got that camaraderie around you. Um, uh, but you know, you've just got to you've got to get it done. Uh, there's no other no other way around it, really. You just got to you know get it in your head that try, try and get to a routine at home. 
um, with specific training days uh, uh, in the week. Uh, so you set yourself, you know, specific days that you're going to train, and then have a day off at a certain time, and then try and get yourself into a routine at home. It, it does help. I'm the bane of those guys' lives at the minute. So uh, if it's a training day, if on the schedule I set out it's a training day, they will all get a message that morning reminding them it's a training day. And then about half through the day, it'll be a case of, have you trained yet? And then it will just be constantly, constantly, constantly speaking to them until I get uh, Strava, um, Strava evidence or uh, Apple iPhone evidence or some sort of tracking evidence to suggest they've trained that day. Okay. Um, so it's in the player's best interest to wake up, train, message me and they don't hear from me again that day. Stay at home. Stay at home. Make sure you stay at home. <laughs> <laughs>